Hi, this is Ed from usemynet.com. In this video I'm going to show you a couple of quick tips for how to restore your WRT54 series router if it's got really messed up. This can be if you're having some problems with OpenWRT or DDWRT or other firmware like that. The Linksys WRT54 can uh, support a method of restoring its firmware called the TFTP method. To get the firmware back on you're going to need two things. You're going to need a copy of this program called TFTPD32 and you can find that on the web and you're also going to need a copy of the original Linksys firmware for the router which you can get from the Linksys website. The first thing you need to do is to set a static IP address on your PC that's connected to the router and you can see here that I have set a static address of 192.168 1.2. That's important because when the router boots up it always has the IP address 192.168.1.1 during its boot sequence. So we've set the static address on our PC and we've got TFTPD32. Now one thing that could be really helpful is if you plug in your router via a cheap network switch to your PC and that just means that when um, the router's powered off or powered back on the connection to your PC always stays up. I just find it's way easier to TFTP images on when you use a switch. So right now what I've got is I've got an Ethernet cable running from one of the LAN ports one of the LAN ports on the WRT54 that then goes into a little four port switch and from that it goes into my PC so you can see even when the router's powered off as it is now my PC showing is connected so what we're going to do is within TFTP32 under the TFTP client section we browse for the Linksys firmware file hit open enter the host here 192.168.1.1 and we're about ready to go so what I always find is the best method of doing it is on the back of the Linksys router there's a reset button so what I'm going to do is with the power off, there's no power to it at the moment, I'm going to hold down that reset button I'm going to plug in the router to the power so it's on now I'm then going to let go of the reset button and I'm going to press that put button and you can see right away there it's initiated the TFTP transfer without any problems at all so you know Linksys do do their own TFTP utility but I just find this TFTP D32 always works so much better. You can see the transfer is done and you can see that on the router the power light's flashing away so what you need to do is just leave that until the power light stops flashing then you'll be able to go back onto 192.168.1.1 and you'll be back on the original Linksys firmware. I hope that's been of some help to you. Thanks very much.